Hey guys, this is Corey with Custom RV in Amarillo, Texas, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to take a look at the 2023 Forest River Alpha Wolf Model 26RL. This particular trailer is going to come in as we sit here equipped today with a, a few optional pieces of equipment at 7,234 pounds and it's going to be 34 feet 5 inches in overall length. Now this is a what I call a flat deck fifth wheel and the benefits there you know if you're looking for that kind of extended stay travel trailer you know you don't want the steps of a fifth wheel on the inside this would be perfect because it gives you lots of big windows like a fifth wheel you get an island kitchen like a fifth wheel and you know everything is on one flat deck which is you know some people are definitely looking for that especially if you're going to park it somewhere and leave it um, as you know an extended stay type thing or a destination trailer or it's just as good if you're going to you know, tow and go constantly now this one's got a lot of great features it does have a couple little hiccups such as the travel access um, and it's a short queen bed so a 60 by 74 camp queen but it also has some great qualities such as this one has the optional second air conditioner has 200 watts of solar panels a rear travel rack 12 volt dc compressor fridge and a whole bunch of other awesome amenities and features that i think you're really gonna like so uh sit back relax get a snack or a drink or something and let's go ahead and jump on to the inside all right guys so we're on the inside of this alpha wolf by forest river model 26 rl and as you can see here you've got a nice open dual posing slide living and kitchen area and that's one of the things that a lot of people really like about this trailer is you have it just feels super open super roomy for only being a 34 foot trailer and i think the other thing that helps with that is going to be all of these campsite and rear facing windows you have just a ton of window coverage overlooking your campsite and one of the new changes that they've started doing is you even have a window in the entry door now that is thin shade ready so if you do want to add that you can easily do that they're like 35 36 dollars in our parts store and you know if that's the only thing stopping you from getting into this camper that's something we can easily do for you at a very minimal cost Alpha Wolf is really good, especially in this floor plan, of using lots of lighting. Now, you're going to have all kinds of blue LED accent lights, speaking of lighting. And the nice thing about those is they're all on one switch. So if you don't want them on, you can you know turn them on and turn them off as you please. Starting over here in the slide out, you do have a little bit of carpet in the main super slide. And I'm sure that at some point, Alpha Wolf will get rid of the carpet they just haven't done that yet you've got a freestanding table and chairs i get asked all the time if there's a booth option and in this floor plan as far as i know there is not it's one of the very few floor plans that doesn't have a booth option uh, in a dual slide camper like this now you can see i've got one of the zebra shades pulled down all the way those are a light filtering day and night shade they're really neat. And then one of the new changes for 2023 is all of the windows are tinted and they actually have a reflective coating on the outside. And we'll talk a little bit more about that when we get to the outside, but they're, they're a really neat, neat concept. The only kind of downside is since they are reflective, they kind of do the exact opposite during the nighttime. So um, it's very easy to see in, in the middle of the night if you have all the lights on, but you know, that's what privacy shades are for, I guess. Over here, you are going to have your theater seats. Now, these have the heat and massage, as well as the cool blue lights as well. Now, those only work if you're plugged into shore power, so they don't work off of a... Gen uh, nope, nope, nope. They don't work off the battery. They would work off of a generator as well. Um, I always just like to point those little things out that um, people may not think about. Now, the nice thing is they are manual recline, so you can still you know sit back, kick back, kick back, relax, watch a movie, whatever, if you are, you know, boonie camping. Now back here on the back wall, you are going to have a tri-fold sleeper sofa. Now this will turn out into a fairly decent sized bed for a couple of guests 
uh, guests, as you can see in the video that will pop up. And the nice thing about this is it's all memory foam. So it's not that traditional hide to bed where you feel that bar in your back, which I'm personally not a fan of. And I think most people are not a fan of it. You're also going to have on each side, nice side stands. You are going to have a little uh, cubby holes on this one on the left. Plus you do have household and USB outlets on both sides of the sofa. And I like that they're in a good location here so you can actually utilize them fairly easy. Love those little wall sconces on the back too, which is very nice. And you know, just it's a neat upscale look. If we take a seat at the theater seats, you're directly across from the entertainment center. Now, if we kind of lean over here and put you in the right-hand theater seat, you can see you still have a very good view of the entertainment center. Now, TVs are an option. We have decided to not bring those in on these anymore, mainly because they don't mount them for us and they don't provide mounts anymore. And, you know, it just, we can get you the same TV, if not a better quality TV for less at Walmart than we can pay to have them include a TV that's still in the box. And, you know, in all honesty, they're not the best quality TVs uh, from the factory on these. So we just figured we'd stop doing that. Down here, you are going to have your 5200 BTU electric space heating fireplace. And then over here, you're going to have a couple of USB outlets. And then you've got this thing. What this is, is a Bluetooth speaker system for the RV. So you basically hook your phone up to this and then the RV turns into one giant Bluetooth speaker. You control your inside, outside speakers, all that good stuff. It's a really neat, uh, it's a really neat feature that they started to do. Now there is no radio on that. That's the only downside that some people have kind of uh, talked to me about since I started doing this. Now down here on your island, as you can see, you've got one of your cabinet ducted heating vents. Now they do that throughout the whole Alpha Wolf family. So they're easy cleaning. You don't have heat vents in the floor, which is, you know, a good thing. A lot of people really like that. And then if we look up top here and kind of walk over this way, you've got your standard 15,000 BTU Coleman Q series air conditioner. This is a ducted uh, version right here. So that's, that comes standard. We have applied the second 15,000 BTU Coleman air conditioner in the bedroom. Now that's just a drop in air. So it only, you know, blows cold air into the bedroom, unless you have the door open, then it kind of blows out this way as well. But this one has got 30,000 BTUs of cooling power, just like a big fifth wheel. And that's pretty dang awesome. And you don't find that in very many bumper pull RVs. Um, especially at this price point in, you know, being where it is. And I'll include a link down below where you can check pricing and availability at any time. Uh, so just keep that in mind as well. So with that being said, let's go ahead and we'll open up all this storage and take a look at the kitchen area. Because for, you know, this has got a really good kitchen with tons of storage. And I think you're going to like it. Okay, guys, so starting up above the sofa, you are going to have a little bit of storage up here. So that'll go all the way across, as you can see there. Now, these are on struts, or they're not on, or they don't have cabinet struts. Let me uh, try that. Third time's always the charm. I wish they did, just so you're not having to juggle that uh, while you're you know, trying to put whatever it is you're putting in there, in the cabinet, you know. But uh, that's, again, an easy fix. Ugh, pardon me. Right here, you're going to have good storage next to your microwave. And I like the fluted glass insert inserts that they're doing here. Microwave up top here. It's a, you know, standard RV size, but it's my microwave. You know, that's microwave's a microwave, in my opinion. I could be wrong about that. Right here is going to be your control panel. And uh, this is going to have your awnings, slide-out controls, lighting controls, your water pump, and uh, then you can also Bluetooth this to your phone. You can also see the tank monitoring panel uh, on your phone as well. This is going to be your battery voltage for the as part of the juice pack. And then this little controller right here is for the on-demand tankless water heater, which is 
pretty, pretty cool. I really do like that they're including that for this year. Uh, it's a nice touch. You're also going to have your one control hotspot. This is basically for Wi-Fi if you do want to add that. And then your thermostat for your heat and air conditioning is right there as well. Easy to get to. Down here, this little box is going to be your breakers and fuses. So that's just like the fuse box and breaker box at your house. Uh, it's easy to get to as well. Now in this one, uh, this particular floor plan, you can find it a couple of feet shorter. Like for example, the Salem, uh, what is it? 27 RE is about two foot shorter than this, but you don't get this extra countertop and cabinet space here uh, in the Salem. So this is one of the reasons why I think this is so popular because you have really good prep space. You've got household and USB outlets there, plus a little bit of storage right here. Behind that panel is where your breakers and fuses are, so you know they don't want you to get to that. And then this door that isn't open, that's actually how you get to the, your furnace and the backside of your tankless water heater. And, you know, in case you need to do any servicing of that or whatever. So um, that's what that is. And they go ahead and screw this shut, but I like that it matches. Now over here, this is going to be your... 10.7 cubic foot 12 volt DC compressor fridge. This is a Furion model. Uh, it works off of the battery power and um, so it's fully travel safe as well, which is very nice. You don't have to turn it off for bridges, tunnels, um, you know, when you're at a gas station. And a lot of states actually don't want you to run propane anymore, which is good because this does not run off of propane. You can still keep your food cold while you're going down the road. Next to that, you're going to have your three burner cooktop. This is going to have the extent, uh, the countertop cover. And then you're also going to have the oven down below in case you want to do some baking with the blue knobs and the light down in there as well. Hood range vent with a light and fan, good countertop space. It's all pressed membrane thermal foil style countertops. And then you're going to have your or another electrical outlet there too. Up top, again, I wish this had a cabinet strut, but you've got some good storage there as well. And I like that they didn't put the microwave here because it would drop it so low. Over here in the island, you've got a one basin farm style sink with the kind of black stainless steel look and the apron. You're also going to have your pull down uh, sprayer faucet, sink top cover as well. And then if we look down here, you can see you've got a plenty of space for a waste basket or pots and pan storage, whatever you want to use it for. You're also going to have good storage back in here for some of those larger items as well. Full extension, plywood box, ball bearing drawer, got a drawer right there. And then you'll have three more full extension drawers right here. This top one does have the silverware divider. So you can see drawers two and three right there as well. Propane leak detector is down there on the bottom of the island. Lastly, you do have a very generously sized pantry with a couple of shelves in there. Perfect spot for some brooms in there since these shelves, you know, you've got probably three or four inches right there, which is always good. And in case you forget where the pantry is, they go ahead and label it for you. Now, um, this this drives me crazy. I wish they would put a cabinet pull here instead of a door handle because everybody wants to turn it like this. It's just a magnetically held door together or a magnetically held shut door. So you just pull on it. So, all right, guys, with that being said, that's going to wrap it up for the kitchen area. Let's go ahead now and take a look at the bathroom. All right, guys, so stepping into the bathroom of the 26RL. First things first, you've got a porcelain foot flush lever toilet. Plenty of room around there too, by the way. You're going to have a Neo Angle shower. So this is a, you know, it's a, it's kind of a space saver, but it isn't the smallest Neo Angle shower that I've been in. Um, I'm 6'2", depending, you know, maybe 6'3", depending on what shoes I'm wearing. But um, I can easily fit in there. Now, my head does have to be in the bubble, but it's better than some trailers that I've been in. You're also going to have a fantastic fan up here. So that's a whole house vent fan. So you can open up some windows, turn that bad boy on, and it will really get some air flowing through here. Over here next to the shower, you've got a great size linen cabinet here. So great space there. Um, Alpha Wolf, would you please <laughs> build something to encase those plumbing lines? That just looks terrible. 
Um, it really look a lot better if there was, you know, something to um, block that off with. Corner medicine cabinet right there with the mirror. You're also going to have a motion sensor light, press membrane countertops, nice big sink, GFI protected outlet. And then down in here, you've got a little bit more storage. Plus, you are going to have a pocket door to separate off the bath or the, yeah, the bathroom from the bedroom. Now, as we come in here, this is going to be an instant deal breaker for some people. It is a 60 by 74 inch camper queen bed. Um, personally, there's not really a good way to put a 60 by 80 true queen in here. Um, you could do it, but you'd lose a lot of walk around ability. And if that's not a word, I just made it up, but we'll roll with it. Household and USB outlets on both sides of the bed. Good wardrobe space here. I like that print there too, that's nice. Nice overhead storage all the way across there. Another wardrobe over there. And then this is that second 15K AC that we were talking about earlier. And of course I forgot to turn on some lights, but eh, we'll roll with it. The show must go on. One of the other things that I'm not a huge fan of is this window opens, which is good, but this tall vertical window over here does not open. Um, I, I don't know how I feel about that. Um, it'd be nice if that one would open. The other thing, and I wish they would do zebra shades in here. Maybe if I can get the blinds down. Man, that's tight. There we go. Um, is they do pleated shades in here. And I wish they would do the zebra shades because a lot of people have requested that. Uh, also up top, you do have a uh, TV backer located in here as well with the appropriate connections. So real quick, before we hop outside into this lovely West Texas wind, let's go ahead and close these slides up and look at it in road mode. Okay, guys, so with the slide outs closed, as you can see, you ain't getting to nothing back here without putting the slide out out. Um, not even the refrigerator, you know, I guess you could throw a kid over there. Um, but even then the, the island would still be in the way. Now, a couple of benefits, you are able to get to the bathroom in the bedroom with the slide out closed. Um, but I think this one is best used at a destination. And I think most people would agree with that. All right, guys, I will try to make this as quick as I can since it is so stinking windy. I it's always windy anytime I try to record these, these videos. But up front here, you've got a three-quarter fiberglass front cap, power front tongue jack. You're also going to have the two 20-pound propane tanks. Rails for your battery. Group 27 series battery is included as part of the 100-watt juice pack factory solar option that's already included. We add another 100-watt panel as part of the, or as an option. So you have 200 watts from the factory. Magnetic hold backs on all your baggage doors. Four corner stabilizer jacks. They are manual. Plus you've got your leash latch here. Nice big pass through storage. Nicely finished off too. Here's gonna be your solar charge controller. And then you're going to have uh, motion sensor lights on both sides. And then your battery disconnect is, over, is gonna be on that other side as well. Power awning with LED lights here. You're gonna have two of those, so you've got two power awnings, both have LED lights, and you can see those RV45 reflective windows as well. You're gonna have the black glass entry door, large entry assist handle, plus you are gonna have the Lippert step above steps. Normally this would come with more ride, I think it's just a shortage. They're still great steps though. Back over here, you're gonna have an outside TV bracket with the cable and power, two outside speakers, great looking aluminum wheels. This is gonna have a forced air heated and enclosed underbelly too, which is very nice. A uh, one piece PVC, fully walkable roof as well. Uh, we will not be getting up there today because of the wind. And then back in here, you can see you do have a propane quick connect and then there's your rear stabilizer jacks. As we come around to the back side, you're gonna have the optional rear travel rack. This is rated at 200 pounds after the spare tire. You've got the backup camera that comes standard with these, all LED tail and marker lights. And then this is for the uh, aftermarket Lippert uh, on the go ladder system. 
So that's the bracket. That's rated at 330 pounds, which is pretty cool. So you can get a ladder to get up on there. Um, those run about 300 bucks or so. At, uh, just Got your 50 amp service right there right here this is going to be on the back side of your entertainment center nice decent storage space motion sensor light in there and this would be a great spot for fishing poles in my opinion or you know you could almost use it as uh you can make it whatever you can use which is again very nice any storage is good storage you're gonna have really sharp modern looking graphics you can see the two air conditioners up there as well right here's going to be your furnace and your uh tankless water heater you're going to have one dump all of your gate valves are going to be in the underbelly too which is very nice uh it's going to keep them from freezing and then right here is going to be your freshwater city water black tank flush um cable satellite easy convenience light which it, that is an underrated feature most brands don't have that and then you've got an outside shower you're also going to have your pass-through storage right here as well so all right guys i know that was super quick on the outside i'm just trying to keep it as short and sweet as possible out here this is also an aluminum frame trailer i believe i forgot to mention that but that's going to wrap it up for the 2023 arc nope 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 Arctic Wolf's the fifth wheel. I catch myself doing that all the time. Alpha Wolf 26RL. If you're interested in this travel trailer and you like pricing and availability, I'll post a link down in the video description where you can check that at any time. You can also give us a call at 806-335-2336 or you can shoot us an email at contact at custom-rv.com. If you're interested in buying this trailer and you'd like to work with me personally, my name is Corey. You can call or text me at any anytime at 806 382-6274. That's my personal cell phone number. And I'm more than happy to get you into the camper of your dreams, whether it's this one or any of the others uh, that I've done videos on. All right, guys, remember at Custom RV, we don't do any hidden dealer fees. We leave those up to the big box dealers. We know that RVs are made for women, so men can go camping. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up. If you could do me a favor, if you're new to the channel, hit that like and subscribe and you know the bell icon bell icon down below that helps us out a little bit and uh helps you stay up to date with all of our videos that we have coming out for you again guys we thank you very much for watching we hope that you enjoyed we hope to hear from you or see you on our lot very soon and have a wonderful rest of your day and a merry christmas